today's video, we're going to be reviewing a 5 horsepower petrol outboard versus the new electric Torpedo 5 horsepower equivalent. So the plan in today's video is we're going to be putting both engines on the back of our Pioneer 10 Classic here. It's going to be interesting to see sort of performance, handling, actually putting the uh, engines onto the boat and uh, just overall the feel and quality of both uh, products. We've been Yamaha dealers for 40 years here at Cadley Marina, uh, and this is the first time I'm getting to trial a Torquedo outboard. So I'm really intrigued to see um, how this one goes. So the first test in this review is gonna be the portability of the engine. I know that this five horsepower weighs 27 kilograms. So I've chosen to uh, fit her on the hard standing. I just didn't fancy going down the pontoon clambering onto the boat with 27 kilograms in my hands because I don't think that would be the greatest for the back. So we pick her up, we've got two nice easy handles here. Pick her up, nice manageable weight. Up, over, onto the transom. Tighten up the thumb screws. And she looks fairly ready to go. You would want to trim her up for launching um, which we'll be doing shortly, so it's just a case of lifting up, manual trim, and that's her effectively ready for the water. So obviously she's trimmed up at the moment, so we're going to have to get her trimmed down. So you've got the handle, lift up here, and into the water she goes. For the purpose of this demonstration, we went for the 1.1 litre integral tank. We just topped her up yesterday off camera. Um, that's the beauty of a petrol outboard, of course. You can just top this up if you start to get low in your reserves, or you can clip in a 12 litre fuel tank and go on the external line. So this 5 horsepower could last effectively forever. Um, so yeah, that's a real advantage of a petrol outboard. Choke out, kill cord on. Give it a little bit of revs. And that's her start, but it was relatively straightforward enough uh, to get her going. petrol outboard is uh, just how reliable it feels in terms of we're just putting away and I know that this is going to go all day every day as long as I've got enough fuel. It's very responsive on the turn um, and it's a very comfortable sort of seating position. I really like the fact that uh, it's super easy to go into neutral. That's extremely manoeuvrable especially in a 10 foot sort of uh, 10 foot dinghy which we're in just now. So it's just all very well thought out and works extremely well. There is a noise which would be interesting, I've not been out in the electric one yet but um, I suspect the electric one's going to be a little bit quieter. You have kind of got that ticking away but then in some ways is that reassuring to know that your engine's ticking away? Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's sort of my observations. Good, solid, reliable outboard. So we're restricted. This boat is rated for a 9.9 .9 horsepower, I think's the biggest that can go on her. And we're only using a five, so I don't think she'll play, but um, we'll open her up and see what happens. about the maneuverability and she just turns no bother you're going to get that with any pioneer boat it's just so easy to maneuver just as i uh, 
winter in here, I get asked all the time by customers how easy it is to launch um, and recover boats. This boat weighs about 100 plus kilograms and I'm putting in no effort whatsoever in the winch. The only thing is it gets repetitive, um, but yeah, you just swap arms. It's, it's, it's an easy process. Right, so time to take this bad boy off. Take the trim down. Unscrew the thumb screws and lift. Like I say, 27 kilograms, but on the hard, that's not the end of the world. And onto the trolley go. And that was the petrol outboard. So, yeah, we've had a nice wee morning out on her just now, but it's uh, time to move across to our electric torpedo. So, we'll do that just now. I think I'm going to launch the boat without the torpedo on board because I think one of the selling points of this is the fact that the motor and the battery are separate. It kind of splits the weight of the unit, um, which makes it easier to launch on the water. So I think that's what we'll try just now. One of the optional accessories that torpedo do, which I think is great uh, and makes it really portable, is this suitcase carry for the motor. But you've also got a rucksack for the battery so a single person could easily take this down onto the pontoons um, to their tender or off their yacht no problem at all so let's get this uh, unbagged and popped on the boat so good quality zips on there I think they'll last quite a long time just got to disconnect the unit because it's two pieces, that is so light. Um, that's really easy to use. And I'm quite happy climbing on board using that. So we'll leave her onto dry land. Snow, head across. The test, can I get this on here in the water? Get the tiller handle out of the way. There's kind of a natural handle there. That seems pretty straightforward to me. We've got the motor on board. Let's see what we can do with the battery. It's heavier than maybe I expected, but uh, it's nice and compact with the handle. And like I say, because you can break the motor and the battery up, makes it completely manageable. So pop it down there while I climb on board. Now looking at the engine, I don't necessarily fancy throwing the battery out on the water there because it's risk of going into the water. But look at this. You can give it a 180 um, degree turn and then it's just a case of lining your battery up and you're kind of guided a little bit with a couple of grooves. There we go. That's her on. Have I got power? Yes, we've got power. So I would say, although it wasn't difficult to use the uh, petrol outboards, in terms of uh, putting the engine almost on the water, Torquedo is definitely a winner on that front. One of the differences I'm already spotting with the electric outboard, because it's just a twist start, I don't need to pull any cords, I'm quite happy to let my uh, bow line off before I start the engine. The reason I wouldn't do that with the petrol is because obviously I've got my kill cord on, so it's just a little bit awkward, so sometimes you need that uh, bit of assistance. But uh, this should be fine to let go now. So my first impressions are, I'm very impressed uh, with this 
engine. I know it's cringy to say, but it's honestly how it feels. It's literally like a hot knife through butter compared to its petrol counterpart. It's a hell of a lot smoother. And the last one with the vibrations, it's quite hard to keep the engine straight. Whereas this one, you're not fighting with that at all. One thing I would be saying, because uh, I'm surprised how quickly the battery has drained uh, on her. I think she came in at 96%. And a few whizzes up and down the canal here at ProRev um, were down at 62%. But we have been going flat out and there's only about one knot of speed gain going flat out versus half revs. If you had it only half throttle, then uh, you wouldn't necessarily lose as much battery as we we're doing. So yeah, she's a really, really nice fit, I would say, for a tender for uh, short-term boating. Even an auxiliary, a backup on a boat, uh, I can see there being potential for that. But if you need endurance or longevity on a day's boating, then you're much better off at this stage going with a petrol outboard. In terms of the environmental impact, we're sitting on a polyethylene Pioneer hull, which is fully recyclable at the end of its working life. So Pioneer really trying to match up with that uh, sustainability element. And I know there's obviously different manufacturing processes, but in terms of cleaner fuel, it just feels and sounds a lot cleaner than what its petrol uh, counterpart would feel like as well. So yeah, that's just an observation being out in the water here. Obviously earlier we discussed um, that we filled the integral fuel tank with petrol before heading out. On uh, the head units of this torpedo motor, we, um, had to charge it on the mains which is very handy because you just make sure you've got a full charge before heading out and you don't need to sort of buy any additional fuel tanks or additional equipment like that so uh, yeah that's there's definitely a convenience there speed this review was never going to be a high action um, review with the fact that it's only five horsepower we're testing on a hull that's capable of taking 9.9 .9 horsepower the petrol outboard with an additional person on the bow there got up to six knots whereas the top speed we got for the torpedo was 4.7 but in this smaller scale um, outboard I don't think it's necessarily about top end speed it's about the thrust and the torpedo feels sort of torquey enough to, 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 to match the, the petrol outboard but yeah if you were looking at top end speed the uh, petrol 5 horsepower does does win but uh, no overall very very impressed so we'll, we'll head in now and uh, show her what she's like to take the to take the engine off right so to finish off I'm going to show you again just how easy it is to take the torpedo unit off whilst on the water so take the cool cord off Turn the battery, turn the engine off. And this is, I, I do like this just for the battery and they've obviously thought this through. Spin at 180, so you're not risking the battery going over the water. Unclip this here. And it's as simple as that. So we can handle them one at a time. We'll just pop the battery back in its nice little carry case. Again, just undo your thumb screws. Lift up your tiller handle. Again, not too heavy. Maybe pop that down on the boat just so I step, save my back. Step up. Lift up. And again, into its specially designed carry case. Lift up my suitcase and off we go. So yeah I really enjoyed testing these two outboard engines on the back of this Pioneer 10 Classic. What's my overall thoughts? The Torquedo was definitely a lot quieter, it was a lot lighter which made it a lot more portable and it was just a very smooth experience out on the water. This, uh, this fella here, not as easy to get on and off due to its weight. Um, there was obviously vibrations um, which made 
a slightly noisier experience out in the water. So it's what I would say is you get twice the experience with the Torquedo. Um, but we started off at 96% battery and by the end of our session, which I think was maybe half an hour or so, we were down at 60%. So the battery does get drained pretty quickly on this. Um, we were going at full throttle, but uh, whereas we hardly used any fuel whatsoever on the Yamaha. A lot of this also comes down to price. The Torquedo currently is more than double the price of the Yamaha outboard. I would say it was double the boating experience in terms of uh, how smooth and enjoyable and clean the whole thing just felt. But in terms of performance, the petrol outboard was five knots with one person on board, six knots with an additional member just to help balance that counterbalance on the bow there. Whereas I was only getting 4.4 knots um, with just myself on board and then 4.7 with somebody on the counterbalance. So top end speed, performance and, endur and durability, it's got to be the petrol outboard. Um, it's also, like I say, more than half the price on the Torquedo. So I suppose with this review, I'm not setting the world alight. It's just, that's what my experience on the water was. If I was gonna be using a tender for short experiences, I really enjoyed my Torquedo, um, Torquedo journey. Coupled with the carry case, it's just really nice, easy boating, which goes really well with the Pioneer. If I need a durable workhorse that you're gonna be using most of the day, then you're not gonna buy three, four batteries. You're gonna to have to go for a petrol outboard with a 12 liter fuel tank. So yeah. That's my, uh, my humble opinion on the two engines. I think both are gonna still continue to serve uh, our customers well. I'm excited to take in the electric range um, for our Pioneer customers, but for our commercial long using customers, I think the five horsepower Yamaha will, will, will swing it for them.